Section 31, Rotations and Enlargement, and page 49. First question is the enlargement. It's by a scale factor of 2, so everything's going to increase by 2. And it's giving you a centre of enlargement. That means it increases from that point. So, the O is the centre of enlargement. Each one of these points on the diagram needs to increase by 2 from the O. So, this point here, if we take the first one, is 2 across and 1 down. So, now it's going to be doubled. So, 2 across is going to be 4 across. And 1 down is going to be 2 down. This one is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 across, 1 down. So 7 across is now 14. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 1 down is now 2 down. So I've got my first line. Now if you're quite confident, you can draw the shape straight from that. Otherwise take another point and check it. 2 across and 1, 2, 3, Four, five down. So two across is now going to be four across. Five down is going to be ten. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Got my next point. Again, if you're more confident, draw the shape. If you're not, do the next point. One, two, three, four, five across. One, two, three, four, five down. So 5 across is now going to be 10 across. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 5 down is going to be 10 down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the last point of the shape. And draw it. Double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 across. And it was 1, 2, 3. So 3 times 2 gives you 6. So double check your answer. Rotation then of triangling 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Now this is the important but 90 degrees you one turn and anti-clockwise you go in this way. Okay wrong way to the clock. So we're going from the origin which is the centre so you put your tracing paper on, line it up, and we're going to turn it once, and we're going to draw the shape, and we're turning it once anti-clockwise, so I'm putting my pencil in the origin, and I'm turning it once anti-clockwise, so my shape is there. and there's my new shape 